Oh, hello! <laughs> I was listening to this incredible music. <laughs> so, welcome, my friends. Welcome to Shadows of the Vatican. Uh, so, this game is a point and click adventure. What does that mean? Well, that means that you can expect interesting story, incredible voice acting, incredible music, as you can hear right now, um, interesting puzzles, uh, interesting characters as well. And that kind of reminds me of a game called uh, Broken Sword. You see, Broken Sword is a point-and-click adventure as well. It was kind of a, an old game. I think it was in the 90s or something around when it was uh, launched. But that game was kind of important to me because that was the first point-and-click adventure that I played. And I think this game kind of relates to that concept about, you know, mysteries, kind of a... A dark story, you know, well, we're in the Vatican, what can you expect about the Vatican in this game? Well, we, we don't know, we have played to know about that. And yeah, you can expect that kind of elements inside this game, so... Well, let's begin this journey in the Vatican. Here we go. Africa, 1996. Me? Here we are, finally. What are you doing? We must regain altitude! We can't leave them! No! Your eminence Delario! What? Why, Delario? Delario. James Murphy. James Murphy is an ex-priest who decided to become a doctor after ending the relationship with the Catholic Church. 38 years old. He is a handsome man. Handsome man. Yeah, you have to put that in the description of this guy. <laughs> handsome is very important. Uh, whose appealing looks stand in the contrast uh, to his serious and unselfish personality. Handsome, but... Unselfish. Uh, you know, interesting. His bigger conflict, which he doesn't deny, is with the ecclesiastical authority. But his truth, but his trust in God, his sense of justice, and the deep respect he feels for people and life in general, have never have never been in doubt. He works in a hospital in Chicago, the city where he was born. But he speaks fluent Italian thanks to the Jews he lived in Rome especially in the Vatican. He has yet to get over the loss of his mentor, Delerio, who, lived, who died in Africa years earlier. Delerio was his mentor. From 2010. We're in 2010. Hello? Hey, hello! Where did I put the phone? In your pants? Behind your butt. Wow. Um. Oh my God! Look at this place. Looks amazing. <laughs> Welcome to Shadows of the Vatican. In this tutorial, you will learn how to play the game. Click the continue button to play the tutorial. Oh, it's your cell phone is ringing, and you must answer this call. Find the phone in the room by clicking on it is just under the big arrow we'll click the space bar to reveal all the hotspots and get a bit of oh, okay. phone oh there it is hello oh there's a kind of a glitch there I think I know who he is hello James or maybe I should call <laughs> Only when I'm on duty, Cristoforo. Not when I'm on holiday. I still can't imagine you in a white coat. The black suited you well. You've never understood a thing about style. I always said you should have been a model. <laughs> Listen, I'd like to thank you for all you did. And that friend of yours, the barman, he was really kind. He was able to organize everything without a problem. I believe it. 
When I decided to come back to Italy, I never could have imagined I would receive such support. It's the least I could do. After all, you came early because of me. It's just as well. If I hadn't received your invitation, I would have probably postponed my holiday once again. As I've been doing for years. You haven't changed. Always the first in the class. So, tell me everything. What did you want to show me? You've been so mysterious. Can we meet next week? I'd like to see you sooner. How about now? Um, okay. Let's meet at Mario's bar, outside your house. Of course, but can you tell me what this is about? Africa, James. What? I'll be at the bar in half an hour. I'll be there. Ooh, Africa. Let's put the phone here. Come in. Who the fuck are you? You can talk with other characters by left clicking on them. You can skip any dialogue, line, or cutscene with a simple left click on your mouse, but be careful, you can miss important information. Left click Mario. Oh, Mario. I'm gonna click you in the belly. Hello, Mario. Hey, Doc, did you sleep well? I slept like a log. The flat is perfect, thank you. Uh, don't mention it. This place belonged to my brother-in-law. I had to evict him. What? Are you kidding? Of course. He's a traveler, you know, for work. One day he's here, the next day he's there. My office is the world, he says. And so this place is empty for months. Unfortunately, the TV doesn't work. So I'll have to repair it before he can use it. So, no derby, Doc. But if you want, you can watch the match with us at the bar. <laughs> Even if you don't seem that big a fan. It's great. Thank you. I repaired my brother-in-law's car. You can use it if you want. It's downstairs. I really don't know how to thank you, Mario. Don't worry about it. As I always say, friends of my priest friends are my friends as well. Wow. Kind of a... Weird character Mario here. <laughs> uh, so always noticing, you know, that the little circles that appear while they were talking about sh shit. <laughs> I don't know, you know, we can now talk about different things. Kind of a weird thing. Like, where will you put the circle? Well, is that something important that I put attention to it? Well, it doesn't matter. So. I have to say something, this, you know, the, the atmosphere, the scenario is really, really awesome. The, the level of detail in here that I'm seeing right now is, is really cool. Although the models, they seem a little bit kind of a low quality. But that may, that's maybe because, you know, when, when you're making a game, you try to make everything efficient. So you have to make some sacrifice in quality on some aspects of the game. So maybe that's the reason why the models of the characters here are looking some kind of a strange quality. But uh, you know, that's okay. I, I still am amazed about this, this amazing picture that I have right now of this kitchen apartment thingy. Okay, so let's talk to Mario about... Malady? Fan? So what about... What are this supposed to be anyway? Why do you keep calling me Doc? There's no need to be formal. Call me James, please. But I act this way with all the people, like, well, like you. Which is? Those who have more brain cells than I do. Of course, that's not such a difficult task. I think you overestimate me, Mario. Modest, wise, and above all, <laughs> very clever. I wonder how many degrees you have. <laughs> well... Cleverness can't be measured by the number of degrees. See? What did I tell you, Doc? This is wisdom. <laughs> All right, Mario, you can keep calling me Doctor. I'm Doctor Murphy. Oh, yeah. All right, now, fan. I'm a fan of what? I'm a fan of television programs or what? Don't worry about the TV. It's okay this way. But you're wrong about me. I'm a great White Sox fan. Never heard of them. Do they play in third division? It's a baseball team. Baseball? That's a sport I've never understood. All those lines and rules. 
And why did I have to wear that big glove on just one hand? <laughs> it's not so complicated. Basically, the pitcher has to throw the ball from a distance of about 20 meters. He's just playing. The batter has to hit it back as far as he can. Oh, I see. Just like a penalty kick. Sort of. But without a foul in the penalty area. In baseball, you usually try to avoid contact. The goal is to beat up the ball, not each other. Ah, wimpy stuff! No offense, Doc. No problem. But it's not always that way. In the hands of a true American, a baseball bat is also the best weapon against apartment thieves. Eh, maybe it's good against American thieves. What do you mean? If you stay here long enough, you discover that for yourself. Welcome to Italy, Doc! Welcome to Italy! Haha! <laughs> Welcome to Italy! Uh, this man you do seem like a, a very stupid. Yeah, that's that's the right word I was searching for. Very stupid. But also very... I wasn't... I wasn't going to say anything. I don't know what you're talking about. Did Father Cristoforo tell you I might need a car? Actually, it was my idea. A holiday without a car is not a real holiday. And then, you know, we're in Rome. We have a tradition to defend. We don't have the kind of culture that, uh... How do I say...? Are you referring to public transportation? You have the gift of humor, Doc. Just like your friend. Very nice guy. That Father Cristoforo. He looks just like you, too. It's just that he's much, much more fatherly than you are. Is it so obvious? I haven't been around the ecclesiastical community for a while. Really? How long? Eleven years. And it wasn't an easy decision, was it? What makes you say that? Because you answered me instantly, without thinking. But your answer was very accurate. <laughs> Hey, I wouldn't be a good barman if I didn't understand people. Oh, I almost forgot. Here you are. The car keys. Mario, forgive me, but you seem hurt. You're right, Doc. I so miss working on cars. Once I did it regularly, but now... No, no, I mean literally. Your arm is bleeding. Oh, this little cut is from a spark plug that didn't want to come out. <laughs> Don't worry. As soon as I get back to the bar, I'll spill some 1998 Barolo wine on it, and it will be okay. Oh, no, you need a few stitches. Let me do it, please. Do you know a less painful way? This way is less painful and much cheaper. I'll get the emergency kit. Oh, now we're going to play a doctor, huh? When the cursor changes to the walk symbol, it means you can move to another scene. Try to go to the bedroom. What do I want to piss or what? <laughs> you can also double click the cursor to transition immediately. Okay. Alright. Uh Let's go to the bedroom. The items that you pick up will get to you readily. Try not to take the emergency kit from the cabinet. Okay. The emergency kit. Where? This emergency kit will be useful. It will be useful, yes, indeed. Because I'm a doctor. Move the mouse to the top of the screen to open your inventory. Move the cursor over any of the items in the inventory and right click to see sure description. I'm getting kind of a weird glitch that the game lose focus and the audio gets cut off, but as soon as I click again, it's okay, alright. Okay. And show description. Uh, nope. Wait, what? Put the cursor with the run and run to right, right click to see a short description. Okay. The keys of the car Mario provided me. The keys of the car. My phone. Your phone? Just a few euros. And I think there are some dollars at the bottom. <laughs> My phone. My wallet. 
The miners can be opened or used directly in your inventory with the right click on the mouse. Try to open the miners kit by right clicking on it. Okay. Oh. Alright. I've opened it. There's everything you need for emergency dressing. Okay. Okay. Alright. That's very healthy. Oh, there's a bunch of stuff now. Why don't you leave the things inside the box and... Uh, is more... Whatever. Some items must be combined with other items in the inventory before they can be used elsewhere. Oh, I do- I actually remember this kind of stuff in Broken Sword. I don't know why I'm making this comparison between this game and Broken Sword, but you know, that that's kind of what it reminds me of. But you know, it's totally a different game, of course. Right? Uh, you must to combine items in the inventory. You must click on the first item you want to combine and then click on the second item. Try to use the cotton with the peroxy right now. Okay, we have the cotton and the peroxy. This bottle seems almost empty. I'll take the cotton and pour on the remaining peroxide. All right. Now you're ready to explore and play on your own. Good luck. Thank you, tutorial. You make my day. I'm okay. I'm okay. Uh, your face doesn't tell me that. You know, James. Uh, uh, you really, you really need to, you know, use the toilet once in a while. Otherwise, you're going to die. Already done. Already done what? You already done the curtains or what? <laughs> what you brought your hair? Eh? It's really, really cool. My God, look at this! Look at this level of detail. The 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 lighting seems very well done. Oh my God! And what is more interesting is the uh, the perspective that you get in the three D space with objects in the closer plane like these these things over here the towels really really cool okay is there anything else here anything i can click on oh ah. well right let's get out of here all right mario let me fix your cut Is there any problem, Doc? No, Mario. I'm only collecting what I need for your wound. I'll tend it right away. Do I have already everything I need? Oh, don't I? I have no time to read. I have no time to read. I don't read because I don't like reading. I'm too cool for books. <laughs> uh, maybe we have to combine something else? Uh, oh, did I miss something on the bathroom? My god, the game is just started and I'm already... I'm already stuck. <laughs> uh, um, da, 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 I'll use just one piece of cotton. It's just one piece. I'm warning you, Mario. This could sting a little. Go ahead. It can't be worse than the Velletri Bianco I poured on the wound two months ago. <laughs> Done. You sure know how to keep away from cheap wines, Doc. Cheap wines, Doc. Uh, you cheap wines. Um, no, this. I can't dress the wound without stitching it. Stitching it. Oh, you want stitches? Alright, back at the bathroom. Trying to search if I miss something There's else. There's nothing else to pick up. Okay, nothing else, simply not. You want to turn I on the radio? heard the news. <laughs> okay. Okay, okay. You freaking doctor, you... Ah, oh, the... A common needle and thread will come in handy. 
Of course it will come in handy. Is that all we need? There's also a silicone tube. I could use it for some small work around the house. Unless Mario does it before me, of course. <laughs> does it before me. Silicone. Alright. It's kind of weird because you won't usually use normal needles and... Because you need to be careful with infection. Doesn't matter. I guess it doesn't matter. Dr. Murphy does it all. We don't need anything. We are the most perfect doctor in the freaking history. Is there no more? No, Mary, there's no problem. I just need to show you with a little... Good idea, but if I really want to use them on Mario, I should sterilize the needle first. Oh, so you do have some sense of logic going on, right? Uh, sterilize... How do I sterilize? Calendar... I'll have to change it. I'll have to change it. Change my pants because I can walk with this... <laughs> um... This music is really, really cool. Kind of sets the, the atmosphere of the entire place. As I said, very cool music, voice acting, all that. Oh, maybe... Oh, I think I know what we need to do. I should turn it on first. Oh, really? Really? You can turn it on? I'll turn it on. I turn it on. The stove is turned on. I have to grab the needle. I click on the needle. I move the needle. I'm going to put the needle on the stuff. I'm not sure how I should do this, but I'm going to put it the needle on the stuff. I put the okay. needle. I can sterilize the needle this way. I better turn off the stove now. I turn it off. The stove is turned off. I walk to this place. I walk to this place. I turn facing Mario. I walk too much. I walk again. I'm facing Mario. <laughs> and now we can combine this. Yes. Now that I finally sterilized the needle, I can insert the thread. I insert the thread. Look at me inserting the thread. <laughs> All right. Now we can stitch you to the hair. Um, I must confess, Doc, I've got a problem with needles. I'll be very delicate. Trust me. Well... Ouch! <laughs> hey, you were right. I didn't feel a thing. Hold on. We're almost done, Mario. We're almost done, Mario. Now, I'm gonna cut your throat. No, I don't think it's appropriate to add another cut. Are you sure? Because I really think that this guy needs another cut. I mean, seriously. I'm just kidding, Mario. You're okay. Voila. Done. Amazing! I don't even feel pain anymore! It was just a small wound. Modesty is a gift of you priests, isn't it? Ex-priests. Yeah. Christophero. I'm going to meet him in a few minutes. Just outside the bar. My bar? I've wasted too much of your time. Let me lead the way then. Thanks. Oh, here we go. We're gonna meet, We're gonna meet Christophero. Oh my god, look at this place. Wow. You saw that? And the tea, the this morning, I received an excellent bottle of grappa from the wine cellar of my Apulian parents-in-law. It was for the bar, but <laughs> I was thinking of drinking it myself. But after everything you did, it's all yours. Oh, no. You fixed the car and I fixed you. That seems fair to me. Besides, I try to keep away from alcohol. 
What is this I'm hearing? Let me guess. You haven't read a single newspaper since you arrived here, have you? Actually, no. I've had no time to do that. I thought so. I suggest you keep this bottle very close for when you read the political pages. <laughs> I suppose you don't accept no as an answer. I'm the owner of a bar. People usually beg me for a bottle. Well, I'm not an alcoholic, Mario. What would Thank I want? You very much, Mario. Now I have to go back to work. Best regards to your friend. Of course. Good lord, I'd really like to have your accent, Doc. Uh, <laughs> thanks for making me a drunk, or you married son of a... Blah. Alcohol is a beverage that you drink when you want to forget something, or when you try to get late. Maybe the second part is not true, but sometimes work. <laughs> Just kidding, guys. Look at this place. Look at this place. Oh my god. I mean, look at the TV. And again, the sense of perspective of, of the things that... And the level of detail on the things. Look at the buttons on... Oh my god. And this is actually like real footage. Like a, like a video stuck on the plane of the TV over there. I'm really wondering if... If there's something I can do to improve the quality of the models. I don't think so. I'm gonna check the options and see if there's something on there. No, there's nothing on the options. So, yeah, I think I was right about the, you know, the loose and quality on some of the aspects of the game because of the, you know, the make it, making the game more efficient. But I still think that this is a really, really good looking game in, in different aspects, of course. Uh, look at the photographs over here, for example. Better leave it where it is. Better leave it where it is. I'm gonna leave it where it is. I think that's a football team or something like that. I try to keep away from this stuff. I try to keep away from this stuff because I'm a doctor. And I'm too cool for alcohol. Look at my hair. Look at this hair. I'm like, I have the, the Elvis Presley look on my hair. <laughs> the TV. I don't want to watch TV now. Why don't you want to watch TV now? It's, it's a freaking football game, man. You don't like football? Do you guys like football? I kind of like it. Not that much, but, you know. Okay, sure. I'm thinking that this is a random person. I thought for a second that that was Christopher, but nah. That looks more like a, like a dude trying to get drunk on this night. What the hell are these? This looks like um, extra protection for when you get a lady. I wonder if that's what it is. <laughs> hey, look, there's uh, some popsicle over here. Uh, okay, I think not about that. Okay, now we have to meet Christopher outside the bar. But there again, uh, look at this freaking place. Look at this. Okay, that's too much. Right, let's go outside. If the inside looks cool... Oh. What? Yes? James, where are you? I'm in front of the bar. Just like you told me. Forgive me, I don't think I can come. Oh, well, don't worry. We can postpone it until... You can still meet me now. I'm at the Santa Bertita's house in Piazza Farnese. Do you remember how to get there? Yes, I think so. Of course, but is everything okay? Sorry, I, I can't explain now. Try to come as fast as you can. Okay, but just tell me... Hurry up, James. Alright, so it seems... seems... Terrified to me. I've never heard in that way. I'd better hurry up. That's exactly what... I was going to say, well, not in the same words, but yeah, it seems like something is going on with Christopher. Something very strange and mysterious. Probably in his pants. Alright. <laughs> uh, again, I have to say this 
this this level of detail on the on the you know the the atmosphere the the places that we're going visiting the rooms look at this look at the cars the view in the distance i guess in the we don't have to go now anyway this uh Oh, well, something else. Maybe one day I'll have the time to visit thoroughly. Why not go visit now? Hmm? Oh, this is a car. Oh, yeah, it's a James car. Looking at the the level, the level of detail on the the buildings. Hey, where are you going, guys? Car is right here. <laughs> the windows. The sky is moving. Kind of a weird sky and clouds, but yeah. and of course the huge tree that we have in our face. All right, let's keep going. Let's get it's the locked. cart. It's locked. Oh, it's locked. I know what to do. Get the keys. I click on the keys. I move the keys to this position. I click on the car with the keys. I turn on the car. Start. Oh, look at this map. From now, you can move around Rome using your map. You can quickly load it by pressing the M on your keyboard. Alright. I'm guessing this is the way they have to go. Yeah, it's so far. Okay. Again. Broken Sword. Actually, now that I think about it, Broken Sword was also located in, s in the... I think it was located in Paris or something like that. Was it in Paris or in France? I don't remember exactly, but Broken Sorrow actually also took place on the Europe region. I'm pretty sure it was in Paris. I'm, I'm not entirely sure, I, I don't remember right now, but that's another coincidence. And was I, I was going to tell that Broken Sorrow also had this kind of a map that you can use to move to one place to another. It's kind of going to give you the feeling that you're moving to another city or another country. It's also another interesting relation. Uh, oh, whatever. But, you know, this game has very different style of art. Broken Sword was more based on the, the 2D graphical style. In I was going to read. Oh. No, Christopher. He's still alive. Call an ambulance. I said, call an ambulance. Quick. Save Christopher. He's ready to be taken to the hospital. Are you coming with us, sir? No. I'll follow later. Christopher. James, you. You were right. I'm here now. I, I, I was afraid of this. He... Shh. Don't strain yourself. Christophero was scared to death, and he didn't seem to trust anyone. Maybe I should have a look at what he left before someone else can get their hands on it. Maybe we should look at the crime scene, don't you think? James. Scary music. Uh, right, I'm gonna talk to the. No, I haven't got time now. Oh my, my cell phone is ringing. Let me. Oh, this is a message. Uh. All right, so James doesn't want to talk to the nun. Do you have a problem with women, James? Are you scared of? You know, forget. It. James is too cool for a woman. Okay, so what do we have here? Uh... No, I know the contents very well. Besides, it doesn't seem like a useful clue to me. All right, it's not a clue. Whatever you say, James. I don't think it will be helpful. Maybe the notepad, maybe this, the blood on the floor, will that be helpful? Hey, you! What are you doing? What do you think I'm doing? 
Shouldn't we wait? I don't know. I mean, you can't take that stuff. Or maybe you can. I'm only trying to understand what's happened to my friend. He fell down the stairs. Was he alone? Yes, apart from me. I was in the other room and... Wait a moment. You are not accusing me, are you? Absolutely not. But the police could ask you... What? The police? Oh, no. No, no, no. Please, if you're Father Christopher's friend, take all you want, but please, don't get me in trouble. Don't worry. Thank you. It's a good thing she's leaving me alone. I need to discover as much as possible without interference. Okay. Now we're playing... Sherlock Holmes. On Rome. <laughs> Mr. Murphy Holmes. James Holmes. Uh, okay, I'm trying to see... Is there anything of a... No, I didn't rent a room. <laughs> what does that have to do with Christopher and the... I didn't rent a room. I, I don't have money to rent a room. Oh, I can stay here. I must leave. <laughs> uh, okay. Sorry, it's just John in there. Come tired. Uh, the book? What about this book? We have to go all the way around to pick the book. And this book. I'll let the authorities deal with it. Deal with it. The torches will deal with it. Are you sure? Mm, okay, so let me see what we got now. Thirty-seven ninety-five. A code for something. I'm guessing. The password of his computer. <laughs> okay. okay. Uh, um. I don't have time to read right now. Okay, James. You don't like reading. You don't like television. You don't like alcohol. You don't like women. What do you like, James? Jesus Christ. Uh. All right. Okay, okay. Um, if you don't like reading, why do you have a Bible with you all the time? What about that? Okay, uh... I have no reason to go upstairs. I have no reason to go upstairs. I must not go upstairs. I don't like going upstairs. I'm too scared about going upstairs. Why should I? I don't live here. <laughs> I don't There's nothing here. I need there. Uh, are you sure? Okay. There's nothing I. Alright. So that's about it in here. Nothing else? Nothing? Mm, nope. Nope. I think that's about. That's about. I can't leave until I've found all possible clues in this room. I need something that helps me understand what happened to my friend. So better leave it here. Oh, uh, maybe not. I don't think the sister would be happy if I stole such an artistic work. <laughs> Who say something about stealing the? Oh my God, James. No. Are you sure? Okay, and I don't think it would. Okay, that's not a clue. Um, there's something I'm missing. Uh. She's the nun managing the residence. A calendar with an advertisement for this place. The celebration of a saint corresponds to each day. This is a portrait of Santa Brigida of Sweden, founder of the Order of the Holy Savior, of which this guest house is a part. It seems like a collection of psalms composed by King David, Joseph's forefather. He's the same David who challenged Goliath, the giant. I love that story. Oh yes, I know you love that story. Okay, so... I was, I was just clicking around trying to pick the things up instead of making a commentary about the things that are in the room. 
Once again, Wolfgang the dumbass, the moron and the idiot strikes again, making something stupid decisions in the games. It's a leather strap. It seems to be torn from a bag. A bag? Are we supposed to find bag? There's a guest book and some brochures. No? They keep the room keys in there. I know they keep the rooms in there. There's a library and a beautiful terrace upstairs. A beautiful stairs up there. This way is the guest house. That way is the exit. And the block. I found Cristoforo here, with his face on the floor. He was very frightened on the phone. It seems he fell down the stairs. I'm not a detective, but it can't be a coincidence. Cristoforo was pushed. I have no reason. Cristoforo was pushed. Well, yeah, you know, there's a good deduction, Mr. James Holmes. Can we leave now? Better go to the hospital to see how Cristoforo is doing. All right. So yeah, I was supposed to, to to click in the things to make commentaries about them, so James can deduct things out. She just got serious. Cardinal Brennan. He probably knows about his collaborator's accident. But he's certainly not a man who sheds tears. Oh. Oh. Uh, Hans. Cardinal Hans. Brehman. Bre Brehman. Bre Brehman. Bre Brehman. Bre Bre whatever. Perfect. Uh, perfect. <laughs> perfect. <laughs> perfect of the. Congregation pro doctrina of the This man is one of the most prominent personalities of the cur Curia. Bremen is one of the closer cardinals to the Pope. Known for his conservative doctrine, he is an entering worker and a great example of an upright moral code. At the end of the 70s, he was opposed to Bishop Paul Mar Marcinkus. President of IOR, 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 what does that mean? During the most obscure period of the Vatican Bank. Many people still believe Bremen he knew more than what he wanted to tell. His relationship with James is very stained because Murphy still considers him one of those responsible for the weak investigation the Vatican did into the death of James' mentor, the Ledio in Africa. The German cardinal is Christopher's direct superior. Oh, he's German. Oh, yeah, Hans. That's a German name, right? Right. Uh, so this kind of a, like the villain? Or maybe not? He's even like a bad guy, look at those eyes. He seems like, I want to kill you. Well, yeah, shit just got serious. All right, now, where? That's not the way we're supposed to go, right? That's the way we, this, this is where Christopher was, right? Yes. Oh, here you are again. Have you got news about your friend? Not good, unfortunately. The fall has caused internal bleeding, and now he's in a coma. Oh dear. Will he recover? Nobody knows. Oh, St. Brigida, please protect our unlucky brother. Oh, our brother. Did we supposed to came here? Okay, this game is making a very bad job to tell me where to go next. Because, because I don't know where to go. I'm not supposed to... Why should I? They keep the room keys in. Yeah, I knew that. Okay, we're not supposed to be here in a game. Maybe we are supposed to go to the apartment. Are we? I'm not sure. <laughs> okay, let's talk to Mario. Hello? 
So, Mario. I think I should inform him about the sad news. Listen, Mario. Father Christophero. Oh, I know what happened to him. I couldn't believe it. Were you able to talk to him before he... Not as I planned. I'm really sorry for your friend. I, I, I feel so powerless when something like this happens. That's not true. Nobody is powerless if he's willing to help. Uh, we can always pray, right? Yes, we can pray. And maybe we can try to do other things, too. You know I'm ready to help any way you want, Doc. Thank you so much, Mario. Thank you so much, Mario. Okay, now we inform Mario about the Christopher situation. Now what? Now what? Hmm? 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 Now what? Now what? Now what? I'm still thinking about the clues that we found. What? What are they supposed to work on? Are we going to solve the mystery about Christopher and? Nothing over there. Okay. Now I'm getting into thinking that this game is trying to tell me, hey, you think it was going to be easy? No, you have to use your logic power to solve these mysteries. In God's name, I know this book very well. It's a long essay written by David Yallop, an English writer who investigated the death of Pope Giovanni I. Among other things, the book concentrates on some shady business dealings involving the IOR, the Vatican Bank, plus the relationships between members of the Holy See and the Freemasons, various banks, and Roman organized crime in the 70s and 80s. A sad page in church history. But why did Cristoforo take a copy of the book with him? Tell me, James. I don't know. You're the expert. Okay. So, I spent about 10 to 15 minutes trying to figure out where to do next. What? Well, I was supposed to click on the freaking book. <laughs> Jesus Christ. It was... It, it was kind of arbitrary because how could I know that that was the next step to to do, to click the freaking book. Oh my god. It's real object, it's not merely, and we have this picture. I'll take them all. I think I should know more about them. Their position in the book could not be accidental, so I'll also remember the pages. Remember the pages. Oh, now we have some pictures. Let me, let me, can I read that thing again? Because it seems to be talking about, you know, some strange business go around the the Pope and the church. Maybe the kind of a conclusion that I'm getting to is that Christophero probably found out some evidence or he get into some kind of conspiration. And it's kind of normal, you know, these kind of plot lines where a friend of the protagonist is in danger and the friend was the one who discovered something and they're behind him now. Uh, but what could it be? I mean, we're in the Vatican, we're in Rome, we... Oh, kind of weird. Kind of weird. Alright, so now we have some pictures. These are the bookmarks I found in Christophero's book. Yeah, I know that you found it in Christopher's book, but are they of any use? Or what? No. These holy pictures have been placed between the pages for a reason. I have to find out why. Well, you tell me, James. You are the expert in here. Can we go upstairs now? No, reason. no, we have no reason to go upstairs. Is there a new location on the map? 
No, there isn't. Uh, took the took to the nun. What do you put me outside? God damn it! She's the nun managing the. Took there. Went took there. Something new. Hello, sister. God bless you for your help. I don't know what I would have done without you. I wish I could have done more. Just my luck. It had to be today when I'm all alone. Can you promise not to tell anyone about this? Don't worry. I'm neither a journalist nor a big mouth. So what are you? Wait a minute. If it wasn't for the way you're dressed and your accent, I'd say you're one of us. I left the priesthood many years ago. Now I'm a doctor. Oh, that's why. A doctor. In fact, it seemed to me before, with your friend on the floor, you were at ease. I'm much more at ease when my friends stand on their feet, actually. <laughs> oh, sorry. I said a stupid thing, didn't I? Yes, you did. We're all a bit shocked. We're all a bit shocked. Okay, tell me about yourself, Nun. Why do you feel so alone? I haven't seen anyone else around. Why are you all alone? Oh my god, why did this have to happen today? Of all days. They trusted me to stay here alone for a few days. What a terrible coincidence. Where did they go? Well, here and there, but most of them went on a pilgrimage to Medjugorje with the Mother Superior. I would have loved to go with them, but I have this problem with airplanes. And I think there must be a reason God created us without wings. Have you ever been to Medjugorje? Once. When I was younger. And what did you see? Not much. Oh, I understand. You're the type of cynical man who always says, non constant day. Oh, what is the expression? Supernatural, isn't it? De supernaturalitate. I try to analyze miracles and apparitions, cum grano salis. It's just caution, that's all. It seems to me your studies have taken you far from the right road. You had a crisis of faith, didn't you? I've dealt with so many crises in my life, I can fill a long list. But faith is not on that list. Faith is not on that list. The super narrow, the super narrow, the, the super, well, James said it better than me, but kind of a weird word. I know it was an expression, but it seems that James was trying to get into the Holmes business since he was young. He likes to investigate mysterious things and get into the middle of everything and well now friend christopher is in danger we have to save him all right what about um the church so the nuns say that she was supposed to be alone for a few days but everybody went away for pilgrimage and like a perfect scenario to hey everyone is away there's just one old lady here and this christopher is in this place and why shouldn't we try to push him and try to kill him and <laughs> you know, uh, kind of weird. You rent rooms in this convent, right? How many yes, of course. Do you Forget about one? what I say. No, thank you. I've already found a place to stay. The Brigadine nuns can offer you such a relaxing stay. We even have a big library upstairs. It was not by chance that your friend chose this place. Hey, now that I think about it, you can keep him company. Sorry, sometimes I talk too much. They call me Sister Big Mouth. It's the nickname the Mother Superior gave me. Don't you worry, Sister... Sister Candida. It's just that I'm not used to having complicated assignments, like this one, for example. What do you usually deal with? I help in the lunch hall. Oh my god, I hope I'm not thrown out after what happened today. Listen, young man, this is a decent place. And if someone knew I wasn't careful enough, well, I haven't done anything wrong, right? It was just an accident. Please don't spread the news around. I won't, sister. I am a discreet person, and I know it wasn't your fault. The concern this woman shows for Christophero's health really touches my heart, but it's better this way. I don't want other people to be involved in this situation, at least until I understand what the hell is going on here. Well, we are in the same plane then, James. We I have no idea what the freaking is going on around here. Okay, so um, tell me about... Do you want to know about myself, sister? I ran here as soon as I heard you screaming. How long had Christophero been in that condition? Oh, no more than five minutes. 
I went away just for a second. God moves in mysterious ways. Or maybe someone was waiting for her to leave. I'm so sorry you couldn't even say hello to him. You're not from here, right? Your accent... You're right. Christophero and I met a long time ago. After seminary. We worked together at the Vatican for a few years. But I'm from Chicago, and I went back there a few years ago to work as a doctor. Oh, America. Is it true you keep a Bible in every hotel? Yes, mostly. Are there so many Catholic hotels? Actually, the Evangelicals hand out Bibles for the hotels. Evangelicals? Bah! I don't really like their... intrusive methods. Well... Don't you agree? Partially. But some consider it more intrusive to bind people to religious faith from birth through the sacraments. Have you got something against the Catholic Church, young man? It's a long story. And very complicated. And very traumatic, I would say. James, don't forget that fact. Your mentor was killed in Africa and... Or whatever. Now, Christopher, what about him? How long did Christopher stay here? Mm, not long, I'd say. Five or six days. Actually, it was rare to see him around here. What do you mean? Well, you see, your friend was a very private person. He wasn't a, how do I say this, a, a sociable kind of man. That doesn't seem like Christophero's typical behavior at all. Do you mean he avoided any contact? Let's just say it was unusual to see him around. As far as I know, he went to his room only once, and he gave back his keys and never went back inside again. Didn't he come back at night? Sometimes we saw him coming back, but he spent all night in the library upstairs without entering his room. In fact, his key has always been on the key rack. Two days ago, I found him sleeping among the books. I offered him coffee, but he refused and left in a hurry. Did he seem nervous for some reason? Oh my god, why should he be nervous? Just curiosity. We've been away from each other for such a long time. Oh, I wouldn't say he was nervous. He was certainly very busy, always with his head in the clouds and tired. Distracted, yeah. I bet that's the reason he fell down the stairs. That is definitely not Christophero's style. Did you see anyone entering before me a few hours ago by any chance? I've been alone the whole time. As I was saying, Father Christophero wasn't here very often, so I wasn't even sure he was here before the accident. Oh, so... I think that this give you this gave us some information about what was going on with Christopher. So probably he found out something and he was investigating. And probably someone found out that he was investigating and didn't want to go any further in that investigation because he was close to the truth. Ah. Hmm. Thanks for everything, sister. Please come back whenever you want. I don't think I want to come back to here, sister. Kind of a weird conversation we have with the noon here. Uh, kind of, um, I would say boring, but you know, it was a sort of realistic dialogue, but not that quite right. I think it's, something is missing on the dialogues. A little bit more spark, like, like Sparky the dog. <laughs> I'm just saying stupid things, my friends. Don't don't put me attention. Don't. I'm just rambling about everything and saying stupid things, mispronunciations, just making it stupid of me and just you know normal stuff. Okay, so now what? I also have no reason. No, no reason to go upstairs. No rooms. No, nothing. No, nope, nope. There's no 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 okay. So I think that's better than here. Alright, so now what? Here we go again, trying to figure out where to go next. I have no idea. This game is really like oh you want to go somewhere? Oh I'll try to figure it out where you're on. Like with a book and let's go to a flat, maybe there's something in there. You have to investigate about what happened to Christopher in this... It's like a headquarters. Oh, maybe not.
Okay, so let me check. Uh, These are the bookmarks I found in Christophero's book. All right, nothing new there. Three. All right, nothing new there. Okay, so I think I'm gonna cut this episode right here, my friends. It's kind of a interesting game. The um, the puzzles and the way the game progress is maybe a little bit out of place because as I say how, how would I know that the book was the way to go forward and oh whatever all right uh, so I have no idea what to do next but all right I'll see you my friends in the next episode